I am trying to film a video and my cat is meowing at my door. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Annie back with another video helping you to turn your YouTube channel into a success. So this is probably the number one question I get asked on a day-to-day -day basis, which is I am putting hours and hours of hard work into my videos, creating what I believe to be super high quality content, but I'm not getting views. And I totally 110% feel you on that because it was not that long ago that I had a bunch of subscribers that weren't watching my videos and I had no idea why my channel wasn't growing. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys five different very, very common reasons why you might be lacking views on your videos and how to change every one of those five reasons. So the very first thing we have to understand is that getting people to watch your videos is actually twofold. Getting people to watch your videos on YouTube comes down to firstly, actually getting your videos in front of people and getting them to click onto the video. And secondly, once you actually get the click, how able are you to hook your view? and keep them watching. So the first major and very, very common reason why you might be lacking a little bit of views on your videos is because of scattered content. So before I began making videos about how to grow on YouTube, I was making what's on my iPhone videos and morning routines, what I eat in a day videos, jumping on the bandwagon of the newest, biggest trends. And with something like 12,000 subscribers, I could barely get even 500 views, which made absolutely no sense to me because if I had that many people subscribing to see content, content from me, why weren't they watching my videos? And here's the problem with that. The number one biggest factor to getting your videos pushed out by YouTube and getting more views is to get your subscribers to watch your videos. Basically, whenever I upload a video to YouTube, I get one of two pop-ups in YouTube Studio. Either one that says a bunch of your regular viewers are watching this video, contributing to your video getting pushed out more by YouTube. Or the complete opposite that says more of your regular viewers are not watching this video, making YouTube decrease the reach of your your video. Basically telling us that whether your video skyrockets or absolutely dies down, all comes down to your subscribers watching your video or not. Which is where scattered content becomes the issue. Because if you make a video about what's on my iPhone, how to save money, what I eat in a day, and out of all your videos, it's your what I eat in a day video that gets like 200,000 views and gains you like 10,000 subscribers, but you only make a what I eat in a day video like once or twice a month and all your other content is on loads of other topics. What happens then? is that the audience that subscribed to you for the what I eat in a day video is not necessarily interested in your other videos. So when YouTube goes to put your other videos in their sub box or their recommended pages, those viewers are not interested in that video and don't watch the video, which is going to automatically either increase or decrease your reach. Now, niches are super overrated and so is labeling your content. However, something that is super, super important to growing your YouTube channel is growing a target audience all subscribing to you for the same content. So it is super, super important for you to figure out who am I targeting as an audience and what kind of content are they expecting from me? And once you start growing that more targeted audience and making content with them in mind, that is when you're going to have a much easier time converting subscribers into viewers and growing your channel. Secondly, one of possibly the most obvious answers that is so, so overlooked because of how often this is said and not properly explained are your thumbnails. So, so, so many people I talk to make the mistake of thinking that a lack of views is as a result of your content. However, if people were actually seeing your content, then you would already have the views. Basically meaning that if you are lacking views on your videos, it's not because of your content, it's because of the wrapping, so to speak, of your video, which usually comes down to your thumbnails and your title, which I know is nearly impossible to judge for yourself because you can't really critique your own thumbnails. But I see people posting in my Facebook group every single day, getting critiques and feedback on their thumbnails, and people tell them all sorts of things they never would have thought of without other people telling them. I cannot even count how many times I've changed my thumbnails or my entire thumbnail style off of the suggestion of somebody else and seen my video positively take off. But while it is really, really hard to judge your own thumbnail and decide what is a good or bad thumbnail, one tip I can absolutely give you that will make a world of difference is to make your thumbnails enticing. Yes, of course, having things like a clean, easy to read, very eye-catching thumbnail is very, very important, but having a nice looking thumbnail does absolutely nothing for you if the content isn't intriguing. So rather than having a thumbnail that says something like day in my life or vlog, you want to have the text say something more like, oh my god, I can't believe this happened or oh my god, I almost fell in a pool or something like that. Something that is going to spark your potential viewers interest and entice them to watch your video. Because whether your videos are about your life or something else you're trying to teach somebody, ultimately getting views on your video is only going to 
happen if your viewers actually see something they could potentially get from watching your video. But most definitely, if your videos are lacking in views, your thumbnails is something I would definitely recommend you look into. Which then brings us to potential reason number three, which is that your videos are simply not reaching people. If you look at the analytics of any one of your videos and look at the impressions, the views, and CTR, this is going to tell you how many people were actually shown your video on YouTube versus how many of them actually watched the video. Now, of course, as a channel with a smaller audience, you're not going to be reaching as many people as somebody who has millions and millions of subscribers. But if you do look at the impressions of your video and they're literally not moving or the number is almost non-existent, then that is usually a pretty good indicator that your videos are not getting pushed out and not actually reaching people. At which point your potential for views is absolutely zero. Which when you are just starting out with your channel, basically all the legwork has to be done by you. You have to push out your own content in external sources like in Facebook groups or your Instagram story on Twitter. Educate yourself on how to rank your videos in search to get more kind of like residual views and also engaging with other creators. So that eventually when you have grown a nice target audience, you have an audience that watches every single video you upload and basically all the work is done for you as soon as you upload. So that is one more thing you may want to stay on top of. So now one other reason why your videos might not be getting more views on YouTube is if you take way too long to get into it. Thanks to TikTok and Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts, most people's attention span is nothing. So if you're spending two to three minutes asking people to subscribe to you, follow you on Instagram, you spend like three minutes re-explaining your entire video title, people are going to get bored and they're going to leave your video, which is going to severely cut into your watch time, which is YouTube's number one priority. Basically, if your videos are drawing in a lot of watch time, that gets you boosted. If your videos are not drawing in watch time, that gets your video dropped. So if you upload a 10 minute video, but the average person watches less than one or two minutes of your video, that is not a lot of watch time and YouTube doesn't really like that. So whether we are talking about the intro of your video, the whole video, the ending of your video, the number one thing you have to be focused on is the structure of your video and the pace of your video. You have to have your video moving at a pace and having the content constantly flowing in a way that hooks your viewers from the get-go and keeps them hooked all the way through. So one thing I definitely, definitely suggest you do is look at the analytics of every one of your videos and figure out on the videos that performed really, really well, how much of your video is the average person watching? Where do they leave your video? What's happening when they leave your video? So that with every single upload you post on YouTube, you're constantly improving your audience retention and your watch time. And once you have those two things going for you, YouTube is gonna push your video out so much further and you're gonna gain so many more views. So now another reason why a lot of people tend to overlook videos and not watch them on YouTube is if you see a video on your recommended page or in your sub box and you feel like that video just really isn't made for you and really doesn't serve you in any way, shape or form. Unlike your Instagram feed where people are following you to see what you're eating, what you're wearing, what you're doing, people watch YouTube for them and what they want. So if somebody lands on your video and they really can't see any way they could benefit from watching your video, they're not going to. You have to be creating content with your target audience in mind and coming up with video ideas your audience is going to enjoy. Even if your channel is about you and you're a personal brand or a vlogger, focus on what aspects of your life your viewers actually want to see. I don't really particularly care to watch you brush your teeth or pick out your outfit, but if you're sharing this new like groundbreaking workout you're absolutely in love with, or you're sharing some new study methods you picked up in college that have absolutely changed your life, those are things that can actually benefit your audience and the people watching your videos. So you definitely want to make sure that number one, your videos actually serve a purpose to other people. And number two, when people land on your videos and read your title and see your thumbnails, they can tell right away that they're actually going to get something out of watching your video. So that you guys is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Those are the five most common things I would definitely look into if you are lacking in views on your videos. I really hope this was helpful to you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!